Hello guys, welcome back to another Counter-Strike episode. This is Misha and today we will gonna speak about some updates uh, made by Steam on the Counter-Strike uh, game. So actually, uh, they came with two uh, major announcements. Uh, first, it is uh, regarding uh, the music that they just added. So actually, uh, they added two packs of music. Um, actually, it is one pack with two two ways of purchase it. One of them it is the Mastermind Music Kits. Okay, so actually they have like uh, two kits. Uh, the Mastermind Music Kit box featuring music from seven composers. Okay, that's cool. Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm not a big fan of these composers, but who cares? Uh, so actually, um, you have uh, two two kind of boxes. Standard and the Star Trek music kit boxes are now available for purchase. Okay, they are available for purchase. The thing is that you know what? I don't like to mix gaming with music. There are two things are totally different. I don't combine them. I don't like them. If I want to listen music, I'm listening music. If I want to play a game, I play a game. If I want to watch a movie, I watch a movie. Uh, that will be hilarious soon to see um, Steam updating and I don't know, having this feature, I don't know, maybe Netflix and Counter-Strike. Maybe who knows, you want to watch some Netflix during the gameplay. Who knows? Okay, the thing is that these packs are coming uh, like this. Just one moment, uh, I'll explain you right away. So actually, we have uh, the Star Trek put as the first here. Um, Star Trek uh, pack, uh, Mastermind. It is only seven euros and fifty cents. Okay, that's a good price. Not. The thing is that I would not pay 7 euros for what? To listen some music? Uh, and the thing is that we have the second pack uh, with 4 euros and 60 cents. Okay, so actually we have two packs right now. Uh, you are not decided uh, which one to buy it. Uh, when you press on them, uh, you have like 3, 6, 7, 7 uh seven uh, songs here yeah like yeah and they're the same songs because actually the first time i didn't knew exactly what is the difference between these two um uh, beside the, the little star yellow star from here yeah that's nice i mean it at least if i'm paying a little bit more just to have a star here which is great okay the thing is that um I will play some songs from here to listen, just to have some fun with them. And the big question it is, guys, would you pay uh, this money seven seven dollars or four dollars? Okay, I'll put it like eight dollars and okay, this is four euros and sixty. I wonder how they calculate the sixty cents. Hmm. I think it is because of the dollars. I think in dollars it is something like uh, five dollars point. Something like that. Yeah, who knows? Doesn't matter. The thing is that uh, would you pay this money for these boxes? Uh, because I want to do it. Because, like I said, if I want to listen music, I listen music. If I want to play a game, I play a game, and that's it. Okay. The difference between these two, even they look similar and they have the same number of uh, of uh, songs. Uh, this one here, it seems that it. It does something extra. So actually, what does extra? It is it is counting your MVPs during the gameplays. I don't know if you heard, but uh, during the gameplay, when you get an MVP for a round, you know the the track that you have selected, it comes in. To be honest, I hate that. I hate. I hate I, because I I don't see the reason why I have to listen to music that somebody else selects it from. His profile and these kind of things. It is so complicated. Guys, just keep it simple. It is just a game. Okay, so we have this mastermind. Let's say that we are buying this mastermind and it is counting our MVPs. Yeah, and so what? I mean, I don't even care about that, okay? 
Anyhow, um, okay, let's listen some music. Maybe you are not so against this. Let's hear the first track and see what this sounds on, right? Okay, play. Inspect. Yeah. Yeah, not guys, I don't know what is the feeling. Uh the first song Austin Victory Backram it is not on my taste. Or not even I don't know. The thing is that it is not making me want to play this game, you know, it is not something like motivates me and these kind of things. Okay, this being said, let's go on the second track, which is uh, Dram Gunman Taco Chuck. Okay, cool. Okay, let's inspect this. Yeah. Okay, got it. So in this one we have just a, a trumpet there, like ta 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 gunman. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, not my on my taste. And be I'm expecting the others to, uh, um, to be the same. To be honest, I don't know. Let's listen to the next one. Daniel Sadowski, Eye I of the Dragon. I don't know, if, is there any fan of Daniel Sadowski? I might be kind of fan, but not today. Okay, that was it. Uh, you know, if you want to listen more, you just search them on YouTube. I'll try to, to post a link below with each song. Okay, let's play the next one to see. Free Adams. Okay, so you have an idea how this sounds as well. Let's listen to the one, two, three, four, fifth one to see how this sounds. Team Holding Neo Noir. Okay, this sounds like a psh. Okay, we got an idea about this one. Nah. Okay, last the almost the last one. So it is Sam Marshall with uh, Badalucious. Okay, let's listen to this. This is like more pop techno crap. Robo style. Okay. Cool. This sounds. I think it, this is the most. I, it is suitable for for the for the Counter Strike. And let's listen the the last one. It is the Drifter. Okay, let's listen this one. Oh, this is rough. Ooh. On dust. This is this works on dust. Okay, got it. 
yeah so these are the songs there are like seven um seven, seven of them and i just like uh, I, th I think the last two i don't know they're like mm, eh, maybe i would put them but i don't know don't see the reason why to buy the entire pack just for uh, these two songs I, know, I saw something like a view on market let me see if we are able to uh buy them from the market mm, okay your market and here we have uh no it is starting with uh, 14 euros okay great so once this starts with 14 euros uh yeah i would not pay this 40 euros 14 14 one four euros okay i don't know why that is more expensive I, I think i can buy it from here so yeah when i press on purchase i can buy it yeah so this would be about the music kit now guys let's go further because team announced other things great things for us great players and kind of things so actually me being like a pro I don't know you but I feel like uh, getting a warm up be before I start a game an important game you know what I'm not a pro player and I don't feel warming up e uh, uh, before every game uh, I have moments when I just have like 15 20 minutes uh time and you know what i'm just sitting in front of my computer open the the counter strike and i play like a 15 20 minutes wingman match uh the thing is that uh, counter strike uh, came up with this experimental 1v1 warm-up mode and i'll tell you right away what this is the thing is that once you're getting into the game you have like a, a minute or two with your uh, with your teammate uh, in in something like in an arena like like this you can see it like here uh, let me see if i'm able to double click on it and open it but no it is not working on it is not working with this okay so uh experimental warm-up uh, which is currently limited to wingman matches on train and vertigo Okay, so actually, uh, they, they promise us that they may add this on other maps uh, in competitive matching in the future. Uh, to be honest, I already tested this. Uh, like I said, uh, okay, this is great. Maybe if you are a pro player and here I need you to, 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 to let me know uh, what is your opinion about this. Do you you feel that you need this warm-up before you starting the game do you really feel it because i don't uh, to be honest i'm thinking like this i'm not a pro player you know i don't care about matches and games you know i'm losing i'm winning it is just i'm playing you know this is the fun uh, another thing it is the way it is made you know I, it makes me uh, hate a little bit my teammate you know uh, once I'm playing with teammate and I get a few headshots and these kind of things, uh, it, uh, sometimes it kind of making me low on on at the, the beginning of of that match. Uh, for some reason, maybe maybe it was just a moment of my I don't know in a day or something like that. So actually, here uh, they're saying that yeah you, we can play this. And I'll show you right away how this looks. Okay, so this is just just a recording. I'll try to to load this a uh, little bit. And okay, you have this. The the map it is loading. I got a, a train match here, and yeah, you start and you are on this in this area. It is like a, a like a room um and yeah the other guy it is coming towards you and each each bot has like uh this uh this spot with barrels and boxes and these kind of things and uh lets you warm up to say so uh, also you can notice that after each kill the the gun it is changed so actually uh when you you start to play 
uh, after each kill you get uh, a new gun here I was trying to get up on this uh, these boxes I was curious if you can get up there it seems that you're not I was asking my teammate to do so to jump on these barrels and help me get up he didn't understood what I wanted to do anyhow the idea is that yeah you have this time with the or warm up of the warm up that you had it before uh, so actually before it was this warm up uh, if you remember uh, until all the players were connected and there were like 2 minutes of uh, of uh, of playing one uh, against each other okay to be, like i said i think you know my opinion i'm not such a big fan of this warm up uh, the thing is that i don't know maybe if you like it just let me uh, leave a comment below and let me know your opinion about this there i was just getting out of the the match so okay i'll just minimize this <clears throat> and let's go back on uh, on our uh, our steam yeah so that's the warm up that you're getting so actually when you try to to play like you, i said you have only on vertigo and the other map was train to be honest these two are two maps that i don't play on on wingman i like more nuke sortrust rialto lake uh, and the reason is because each of these maps are played differently so actually you have to 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 be careful about uh, different things um yeah and that was it to be honest um from inventory you can select i i have just a default music kit i'll re stay on that one that was for free and i'm not intending to pay anything for the their music um so actually guys if you have pro and cons uh just feel free to leave a comment below just let me know what you do you think about the music packs and what do you think about the warm-up and that should be it i mean i don't feel like uh, adding more uh, items in my in my inventory to be honest i am trying to get rid about all of this uh, i started to sell many of them uh i'm not sure exactly what i can do with uh, with the ones that are costing 0 0.0305 or something like that uh euro cent but i will see about that and uh, like i said if you have any comments feel free to leave them below and of course guys if you like this channel don't forget to subscribe i need your subscriptions in order to grow up and be more friends and until next time good luck and have fun